you'll be able to play whatever song you like. Maybe not every song and maybe not exactly that, like how it is on the album, but that's a detail. Today we're going to talk about the very very basic of playing bass and that is chords. And when I say chords I don't mean a chord like you would play on a guitar, but just what's in the chord, what are the notes that we use. And we'll start with the very basic one. I'll do all the examples in A just because that's uh, an easy one to spot. Um, the first one is the major chord. And a major chord, first of all you have the root note. So in our examples here it's going to be the A. After the A you have the third. And as we're playing a major chord we're going for the major third. And the major third, the best way to Memorize it if you don't know all the notes by heart on your uh, bass. It's just one down, one up. So you go from an A to a C sharp. And then the third note is our friend the fifth. My bass isn't agreeing with us. Uh, sorry, my amp isn't agreeing. One moment for technical difficulties. And here we're back again. So uh, we had that uh, third and we have our fifth. Uh, our fifth is one down, uh, sorry, one down and two towards the body of the bass. So you go from an A and our fifth here is the E. Together we have plain and simple. And then what you do with it is completely up to you what fits with the rhythm of the song, what fits with the style of the song. You can go very classic, you can do something special, you can inverse it. Whatever you do, those three notes, certainly in a 4-4 pattern, if you're going for eight notes, just double them or play around. Whatever you do, just those three notes. Then our next one is if we have a major, we also want a minor. So. With our minor, again, we use a third, but the minor third. In this example, uh, if we're going for the A, you have two options. Either you go from the A to the C on the string below, but let's do it proper. Let's use our pinky and let's go A. Our fifth. So, so together that's two minutes in, two chords down. Plain and easy. If you remember or scroll back to the ditty I played in the beginning, I started here on an E and I played an E7 chord. The 7, and just to be consistent I'll show it from, on, from the A, the 7 is just two strings down. So, so in our example here we go from our A, skip the D, to the G. That's only two notes. What do we use to fill that gap? Well, we have options. Either we go to our fifth, go for the 7 major or but since we know it we could go for a minor or if we want to do it really proper 
proper like I showed before. That's four chords in less than four minutes. Just to close off, you don't spot them a lot, it depends on the kind of music, but uh, I used to play uh, shadow stuff and they tend to like the sixth. Well, if we know, sorry, if we know that for root note A, the G is the seven, well, just go one down, F sharp is our sixth. Uh, in context, uh, one of the songs we used to play had a nice rhythm and it went from minor to six to seven to six. So that was... video is we just showed the major the minor the seventh major the seventh minor strictly speaking we can also add the fifth plus add that one and then our sixth and our seventh Sit down, look for whatever song you like, instead of looking for a tab, look at the chords and enjoy the fact that you now can play all of these songs. Have a good week everybody! Yeah. 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 Yeah.